I get a lot of phone calls from time to time from people, and I can troubleshoot these things over the phone, and I, I help a lot of people, and I thought, well, maybe if I made some videos, uh, I could just send them a link in a text or something like that. Furnace kicks on. Furnace kicks off. Not sure what's going on with it, but we're gonna open up and find out. Got my Vito Pro Pack MC tool bag, my Milwaukee drill, and then my pajamas. I got flip flops on, and I got a hat. We're gonna see if we can get this furnace working. So the furnace is attempting to light. We'll have to get the video down here. Let's see what it's doing. It's lighting. Turns off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power up. All right, I don't know if you can see it based on the speed of this, but it's, it's flashing one. System lockout, uh, retry is exceeded, which means it's tried to light three times and it didn't light, so it's gonna go into uh, lockout. The flame sensor is the one in the burner cabinet with only one wire attached. Typically it's gonna have a quarter inch or 5 sixteenths uh, size nut in there. See how it's all dirty on there? So I'm going to just take a piece of scotch bray. Shine that up. I use Scotch-Brite to clean these flame sensors. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall that here in a second using a quarter inch or a 5 16 screw depending on the type of furnace. And then we're gonna start it up. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've got your furnace fixed. See you in the next one. Looks like we fixed it.